Hello and welcome to 18th session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. In this session, we are going to talk about the strengths of branch connections based on paragraph 304.3.2 of ASME B31.3. A pipe having a branch connection is weakened by the opening that must be made in it and unless the wall thickness of the pipe is sufficiently in excess of that required to sustain the pressure, it's necessary to provide added reinforcement. Let's interpret this part of paragraph before we proceed. Referring to episode 13 of this course, you know that the selected wall thickness from the standard is greater than what is required to sustain the pressure. Because when the wall thickness calculation results in a thickness that is not be available in the standard, we can round it up to the nearest thickness as per the related standard considering the pipe's material. This part of paragraph says that if the difference between thickness of the delivered pipe and the thickness that required to sustain pressure is as much as what is specified by the code, there is no need to provide added reinforcement for the branch connection. It means that extra thickness of the pipe more than what is required to sustain the pressure can compensate the weakness caused by the opening for the branching. Going back to the paragraph, the amount of reinforcement required to sustain the pressure shall be determined in accordance with paragraph 304.3.3 or 304.3.4. It says that in case of need for reinforcement, we should refer to mentioned paragraphs. It's a good time to talk about the different methods used for branching from run pipe named header. We can use T, reduced or straight, as a fitting for branching. In this case, if we order the T with a standard specified in table 326.1, we would only need to specify the thickness of the route T based on ASME B16.9, same as the selected thickness of the pipe for that size. For forged T, we should refer to ASME B16.11 for specifying the class based on the relevant pipe thickness. As you may recall, we have covered pressure design of fitting in episode 15. Another way for branching is using outlet. Table 326.1 specifies MSS SP97 as a standard for integrally reinforced forged branch outlet fittings, socket welding, threaded and butt welding ends. It will be useful if we have a look at this standard. There are three types of outlet, butt welding or weldolet, threaded or threadolet and socket welding or socket. All three have one factor in common. They are welded to header and the connection type to branch determines their name. For example, if branch connects to the outlet with welding, threading, and socket welding, the name will be weldolet, threadolet, and socket respectively. Table 1 of MSS SP97 determines the procedure for determining the class of fittings for the relevant sizes of the outlets. Correlation of fittings class with a schedule number or wall designation of run pipe for calculation of ratings. Weldolets can be used up to MPS or nominal pipe size equals 24 when the thickness of the header is extra strong and less. If the thickness of header is a standard and less, the class of weldolet will be a standard. The class of weldolet will be extra strong. If the thickness of run pipe is extra strong and less but more than a standard. If the thickness of header is a schedule number 160 and less 
but more than extra strong the maximum size of butt welding outlet is mps equals 6 and the class is schedule 160 the class of thread OLED and sock OLED is 3000 when the thickness of pipe is extra strong and less in this case we can use these components up to mps equals 4 if the thickness of header that we want to branch from it is a schedule 160 and less but more than extra strong the class will be 6000 and we can use it up to NPS equals 2. Let's review the next part of the code paragraph that covers our discussion about T and outlet. There are however certain branch connections that have adequate pressure strengths or reinforcement as constructed it may be assumed without calculation that a branch connection has adequate strengths to sustain the internal and external pressure that will be applied to it if a the branch connection is made with a listed branch type fitting such as an ASME B16.9 or ASME B16.11T or MSS SP97 branch connection fitting see paragraph 303 instead of outlet it's permitted by the code to use coupling and half coupling for branching based on class B the branch connection is made by welding a listed threaded or socket welding coupling or listed half coupling directly to the run in accordance with paragraph 328.5.4 provided the size of the branch doesn't exit the N50 or MPS2 nor one force the nominal size of the run the minimum wall thickness of the coupling anywhere in the reinforcement zone if threads are in the zone wall thickness is measured from root of the thread to minimum outside diameter shall be not less than that of unthreaded branch pi in no case shall a coupling or half coupling have a rating less than class 3000 in accordance with ASME B16.11 it says that we are allowed to use coupling and half coupling manufactured in accordance with the standard ASME B16.11 when the size of branch is MPS equals 2 and less and the header size is MPS equals 8 and less. The class of coupling is determined with reference to related pipes wall thickness based on ASME B16.11 and the minimum class will be 3000. Please note that the use of coupling and half coupling is not common for branching because unlike outlet they don't have counter radius capable of matching with run pipe radius therefore welding coupling to run pipe is harder than outlets as discussed in previous sessions pressure design of an unlisted branch connection fitting is not the subject of this course that clause c is about the branch connection utilizes an unlisted branch connection fitting c paragraph 300.2 provided the fitting is made from materials listed in table a1 or table a1m and provided that the branch connection is qualified as required by paragraph 304.7.2 instead of using fittings pipe to pipe could be used as a method for branching in this case branch is fabricated by welding a pipe as a branch directly to a header paragraph 304.3 of b31.3 specifies requirement for a reinforcement of welded branch connections it determines that this type of connection could sustain the pressure without added reinforcement or not when the excess thickness of header and branch doesn't meet the criteria of this paragraph a reinforcement shall be added to compensate weakness caused by opening a header let's have a look at figure 304.3.3 branch connection nomenclature in this figure 
all parameters which have been used for the evaluation of strengths of pipe to pipe are shown. In this figure, you can see the section of ring used as a stiffener referred to as reinforcement actually this ring will not be used if the criteria is met in this case the sketch is like this that the reinforcement areas include welding and excess thickness of header and branch are more than the section area caused by the opening in the header shown in red color in this sketch Welds are shown in yellow, excess thickness of header in green, and excess thickness of a branch in blue color. If the requirements are not met, we should add a reinforcement. Next episode will be a workshop in which, with an example, we will check the requirements of paragraph 304.3.3. Thanks for being with us.